language arts. You may recognize this book because I read it last week. So this um, book is about a star. It's about Jesus. It's about the wise men. It's what we've been talking about. But it also has some words in it that I want us to think about for language arts. They're called positional words. They help describe. So a position is where something is. So like right now, I would say this book is beside me, beside me. Um, if I put it up here, I would say the book is above me or it's up high. That would be a position word. Below, it's underneath the camera. You can't see it anymore, can you? So those are all positional words. Now I'm gonna read this book and when you hear a positional word like beside, above, below, behind, before, up high, down low. I want you to scream positional word. Got it? Okay, here we go. A star for Jesus. See all the stars so tiny and bright? They twinkle and glow and light up the night. God made the stars and put them up high. Positional word. To shed, to shine down on earth. Positional word from up in the sky, positional word. So we heard high, we heard down on the earth and up in the sky. So those are positional words, down, up, and up high. Okay, one special night, a long time ago, a new star appeared with a radiant glow. The people all wondered, what could this be? What does it mean, the star that we see? So there's the star. There's no positional words there, but how would you describe what he's doing? He's looking or pointing up, right? So that would be position if we looked at the picture. Some men from the east who studied the skies came up with the answer because they were wise. The star means that Jesus our Savior has come. A newborn king is God's only son. So again, no positional words there, but we see in the pictures a position. He's pointing up, above them. That'd be another word, above. The wise men decided to follow the star. They traveled for many miles. Their journey was far. The star led them all the way to a town where they found Jesus and bowed down to the ground. Position the word, down. They went down, they bowed down. They're looking up, following, but then when they found Jesus, they bowed down. So what would that mean to bow down to somebody? We really shouldn't bow down to anybody because it's kind of a sign of worship except Jesus. And how we do that, I mean, you can literally get down on your knees. And sometimes that helps us to do because maybe when we're praying or something. So sometimes I do that, uh, especially sometimes I feel like when I'm really upset about something, I'm really worried, I will get down on my knees and pray because it reminds me like God is in control. He's big. I'm not. He's a great big God. And I want to remember that. It helps me remember that and put my trust in him and say, okay, this thing I'm worried about, I'm going to cast my anxiety on you. Um, so sometimes I do that, uh, bow down. And I think that's good and pleasing to the Lord, don't you? So here we go. The wise men said, here are the gifts that we bring, incense and myrrh and gold for the king. They worshiped the Savior. Then they went on their way, rejoicing that they had seen Jesus that day. So no positional words. We could say the boy is looking down. I think that's supposed to be Jesus on there. Remember, we said we don't know exactly how old he was by the time the wise men got to him. They've got him here, kind of standing up like a toddler, but he's, he's um, the sheep is below him. He is looking down at the sheep. Okay, let's see if there's any on this page. So next time you look at the star shining bright, remember the star that glowed in the night to let the world know of our dear Savior's birth where God sent his son down from heaven to earth. Position the word, down, down from heaven to earth. Ah, I like this book. I like the rhymes. You got some positional words in your head? I hope so. Have a great day and think about when you say positional words. You could say positional words.